Hi, I'm Louise and we're here at the sleep store to talk about everything to do with swaddling. I asked Georgie what the topic was and she said everything to do with swaddling. So here we are, ready to answer all your questions and show you lots of lovely options for swaddling. I am a little bit rusty. I've been on holiday and I'm, this is our first Facebook Live for probably about six weeks, I think, or maybe even more. So if I'm a bit duh, just have to forgive me. So if you have questions about swaddling now, just pop them in the comments and James will let me know and we'll cover those as we go. And also any questions that we don't get to, we'll definitely answer all the questions at the end of the live. So let's get into it. It's all about swaddling. So the first question probably is why swaddle? Why would you wrap your baby up like a burrito? And what would be the point of that? Well, the, the main point is that when baby's inside the womb, they are squished. They can't move very much. They can kind of maybe squirm around a little bit. But then when babies are born, they kind of come out and they flop around and kick and startle and whack themselves in the face and often really unsettled and hard to get to sleep. So we look at swaddling as the kind of foundation for a settled baby, the foundation for good sleep. So when you can get that startle under control, your baby has a much better chance of being able to fall asleep and stay asleep. It can be quite a shock to people who have a new baby that babies don't just go to sleep when they're tired. I saw that come up on a post that Georgie had done about things you wished you knew. <laughs> and one person did say that babies, they didn't know that babies don't just go to sleep when they're tired. Often it can be quite a struggle to get a newborn to actually fall asleep. And if you, if you find a swaddle that works for you, uh, that will make them getting your baby to sleep easier and it'll make all the other settling things you do, like, you know, using a white noise machine or shushing, any of those things work better when your baby's swaddled. Obviously, I'm talking generally. This applies to the majority of babies. There may be the odd baby who doesn't like to be swaddled, but in our experience of, um, you know, talking about babies and talking to thousands of parents over the last 11 years, swaddling works for most babies. Often people will try swaddling and say, my baby hates it um, and give it up and will have an unsettled baby. Um, so we do encourage you to give it another try if your baby is hard to get to sleep. Um, and also if you have a cat napper, there's a lot of babies who, you know, if they're, if they're tired and you shush a lot or you rock a lot, you can get them to sleep not swaddled, but then they're like, <laughs> and wake up again after 30 minutes or 40 minutes. So swaddling is definitely worth trying with cat nappers as well. Even, even older babies who, um, you know, might be three, four, five months old and you feel like they're too big for swaddling. If they're a cat napper, definitely give it another try. Okay, so the next thing on my list um, is to look at different different options for swaddling. So first, we might just look at some of the um, some of the kind of key options would be muslin. This is one of the um, beautiful Kippins muslins. <laughs> These are um, are really adorable, and they are just made from a really lovely quality of muslin. You can kind of see this little weave. We sell lots of different brands of muslin like Aiden and Inez, um, lots of New Zealand brands like Burrow and Bee and Nature Baby. Um, swad swaddling with muslin is one of the most common options and really good for summer. This is a new option. This is called stretch muslin so this is a pretty exciting innovation. Um, muslin is normally quite hard to get firm enough because it doesn't have any stretch but this is made by a little turtle baby in Australia um, to give you the kind of lightness, breathability for summer that muslin has, but you get a pretty awesome stretch from it. So I'll show you both of those on in a sec. Um, and then... There's one behind you. Where? Just low. Okay. Oh, yeah. Water. Thank you. Should follow the instructions. Another option, um, if you want a traditional sort of square wrap to swaddle, um, but you want a little bit more stretch, a little bit more security, then something that's made of cotton, stretchy cotton, like this, like a t-shirt fabric, um, will give you a really awesome swaddle. And this is the type of wrap that I use with my oldest kids for such things as um, love to swaddle ups and things with zips and Velcro were invented back in the dark ages. This has always been my favourite way to swaddle. 
So this is a wool babe swaddle, 70% uh, organic cotton and 30% merino. But we do have lots of options that are 100% cotton as well. Um, so maybe I'll, sh I'll demonstrate how you use these kind of swaddles um, and then we can look at some of these um, other zip and velcro and fitted options. So when you're looking at using a square for swaddling, we recommend 120 by 120 centimetres um, as a good size. It can look a little big on a brand newborn, um, but it will mean that it'll last you for three months or so. Some of the really small um, 90 or 100 by 100, um, I think the Nature Baby Stretch Cotton is at that quite little size, perfect for a brand newborn. So it might be good for the first sort of six to eight weeks. But if you want a swaddle that's going to last a bit longer, these bigger ones are good and it gives you plenty of fabric to wrap around. So I'm just going to show you the down up, down up swaddle technique. So just fold down one corner and then we're going to go across, take the first layer under. It's a bit hard doing it on a table, it's a little bit slippery. Don't swaddle your baby on a table. Swaddle them on the floor is definitely the best option. And then we want the bottom corner. I just noticed that cute little turtle. It's so sweet. This is a really lovely brand. So we're going down and then up and under. It's a very long time since I swaddled my baby, so I'm a little out of practice. And then we're going to come around and try and get this one here quite snug round over the shoulder because this is often where a little hand will, will come up and escape. So then we're going to go down. So that's down, up, down, make a little V. And then the last step, just use your thumb here to hold that little hand down because if it's a real baby, this will be waving around. So just try and hold that little hand down and keep it secure while you just bring the last layer up and across like so you can just tuck that back in so for a muslin this is very stretchy and really nice to wrap with and just um, for sort of hip health and making sure that your swaddle is a good safe fit just make sure that it's not tight you don't want the burrito to be snug around the legs we don't want the legs pinned like this want the bottom half of any swaddle that you're looking at the bottom half should be relatively loose so your baby's legs can get into that kind of froggy position so if you had a little baby here not swaddled you see you want your baby to be able to flex their legs up into that sort of position because that open hips um, is what you're looking for that's the kind of natural position that a baby's legs would be in um, you definitely don't want them pinned down flat <laughs> And straight. It's that kind of um, swaddling is perfectly healthy for your baby's hips um, as long as they have free movement and they can have their hips open. Um, I'm not sure if I, nothing that we sell would pin in the baby's legs into that unsafe position um, unless you were using a square and you were like wrapping it up deliberately trying to keep them straight. But any of the fitted ones are um, super good for healthy hips. Do we have any questions, James, at this point? A question from Victoria about what age to stop swaddling. That's always a good question for swaddling. I think um, rather than there be a specific age, there's some kind of stages to look for. One is um, around three or four months, your baby will stop the startle reflex. And when you see that they're stop starting to not do this when they're awake, that's a good indication that you could move away from swaddling. Um, and maybe start swaddling with one hand out and one in, which you could do like so. So at this point, um, just bring that around securely underneath. So when this stops punching itself in the face, you can start to leave one hand out. So that varies three or four months. Um, another is once your baby's rolling. Once your baby's rolling onto their tummy, you don't want them swaddled anymore because swaddled um, with both arms in and rolling onto your face 
is one of the most unsafe positions for sleep. Swaddled face down has seven times the SUDI risk of swaddled on your back. So once your baby is, is rolling or getting close to rolling, we'd really encourage you to move away from swaddling. Move into a sleeping bag with both hands out, um, and so then your baby's quite safe if they roll. Um, if you have a baby who's started rolling really young, like, you know, it's not, it's unusual but not unheard of for a baby to be rolling at, say, three months, I'd recommend that um, you use a safety sleep over your swaddle. Keep your baby. Here's one we prepared earlier. <laughs> so safety sleep, um, you can swaddle your baby and keep them safely on their back. So for that kind of in-between stage where you think they still need to be swaddled or they sleep better swaddled, um, but they're getting close to rolling, this can be a good option for you to add to your swaddle. Um, yeah, and then I guess if your baby's kind of not rolling, um, by about six months probably start to leave one hand out and just gradually move. Often people will carry on swaddling thinking their babies can't sleep without it. Sometimes you just need to give it a go. You might have a few days of it being a bit like a nightmare, but you will get there in the end. Um, and having one arm out is a good first step. Can be a good um, time to introduce a comforter possibly, give this hand something to do. And also sometimes babies will adjust better. They'll sleep fine at night, not swaddled, but during the day carry on swaddling when you can keep supervising them. Whereas at night you want to go for the safest option once they're wriggling around. Hope that answers that question. Let me know if there's any more. Okay, so let's move on to um, We'll look at some fitted swaddles, but first of all, we might just have a little giveaway, which would be exciting. So the giveaway we have for you at this point is to win one of our beautiful Pippin swaddles. So there's lots, lots to choose from. You could use their Kippany name, um, or you could just say what colour they are. Do you want the name? Colour's good. Colour's well. good. So we have this beautiful purple one, which is the Flamingo, and we have... Ash, the green lion. These are adorable. They'd make a gorgeous lightweight blanket too for a bassinet or cot blanket. The river. And we spend a bit still on holiday. Luna, I think, is the blue one. Yep. And Kitty. Kitty's lovely pale pink. And splits. Cheeky monkey with his bananas. And wolf. Wolfie. Wolfie. Yeah. Yep. And there's some others I think on the website as well. So if you'd like to win one of those beautiful Kippins muslins, just pop a comment on now and James will draw that in a couple of minutes. Okay, so let us put those muslins down there now. So now we're going to have a look at some fitted swaddles because if you've looked for swaddles on our website you'll see there's a rather colossal range and um, sometimes it can be hard to choose. So if you have a question about fitted swaddles, you're trying to work out which to go for, pop a question on um, with what you're looking at and we can go through the comparison. Uh, the ones that we've got here to show you are really focusing on options for warmer weather because that's where we're moving into and um, the customer services team are getting a gazillion questions about what swaddle to use and what to use with it. So we'll just have a look at some of the options. First of all I'm just going to show you Sleepy Wings which is a, a really interesting swaddle from Australia which looks like this. Quite a different shape to most swaddles in that it's just really a little jacket. So if you're looking at summer weight options Sleepy wings can be worn with nothing, like imagine this is a naked baby with just a nappy or just a little bodysuit here. And so you're getting a little bit of startle control, not as much obviously as if the arms are swaddled down. And this also has a pretty nifty little feature where you can poke a pacifier in here. <laughs> like that. It'll fit most, most sorts of dummies will fit in there. 
they don't stay in, you know, baby could yank it out, but it helps find one during the night. So that works well. If it's really hot, you can also add something like a little muslin sleeping bag. Um, Sleepy Wings works really well over a sleeping bag, like so. Or for day sleep, you could just use it just with this. Okay, let's move into some of our other common options. I'm just going to pop them on and if you've got questions about particular ones or you want to know more, let us know. But sometimes it can be good just to see how the different ones fit, how you put them on. So this is our most popular swaddle and the one that our sleep coaches most often recommend, um, particularly for babies who are sleeping badly or for parents that are finding it hard to get their babies to sleep. This is the trusty miracle blanket from the States. And this works by keeping the arms secure. So it pretty much stops the startle reflex from waking babies up. It's of all the swaddles, it's the one that we get consistent feedback that babies sleep for longer, and therefore that parents sleep for longer. I use this this swaddle with my youngest two babies and found it amazing. It has been my favourite swaddle ever since. And that's the miracle blanket. So that's its normal way that you wrap it. But it's also very, very versatile, which is another reason we recommend it so often. If it's hot, you can just leave the legs out. You could leave that out. And you could just go one layer over and under. So that makes it a really lightweight option for summer, just one layer across the body. You can use it with just a nappy on underneath. You can also miracle blanket um, with one hand out. So this also makes it really good. It normally will fit about up to three months lengthways, but you can leave the legs out. You can wrap it lower down. And leave that one hand out and it's still pretty much escape proof like so so miracle blanket compared to some of the other lighter weight summer options the fabric is a little thicker it's just a, like a standard t-shirt weight but because you can wrap it in lots of different ways you could use it over a muslin sleeping bag for example um, or you can just leave the feet out I think it's still a really good option to have in your summer um, swaddle package and obviously at night you know it's not nearly as hot at night time so for me I would just wrap it I'm just thinking back to my youngest was born at the end of October so we would have used this you know right through summer um, particularly at night and maybe a, a lighter weight option during the day so any questions about miracle blanket fire them through <coughs> up as I go <laughs> create some carnage okay so another option for summer would be a love to dream which is one of the most popular swaddles in New Zealand and Australia with their cute little wing shape um, love to dream comes in two weights or many different options but this is a standard weight and then we also have the lightweight which comes in either a bamboo or a cotton. The lighter weight fabrics are about 30% lighter. Um, in terms of which to use, this is the standard weight's equivalent to a 0.1 tog. It's a pretty snug fit so that makes it I guess a little warmer than something that's loose fitting. In terms of ease of use, um, love to dreams pretty hard to beat it's just pop your baby in zip it up that's it you can see um, really nice and wide at the bottom heaps of room for little legs to get into a comfy position Shall I start again then? little wiggly legs <laughs> like this yeah uh, baby, love to dreams good for babies that want to suck their hand they can suck it through the fabric um, doesn't have as much startle control um, compared to a lot of other swaddles. So if your baby really needs to be firmly swaddled, this might work 
better when they're more like eight or ten weeks old when they start to startle less but a lot of babies do like these from newborn and it's definitely a good option if you're not sure if swaddling's something you want to do if you sort of want an in-between option this is a great great one to start with particularly good for multiple mums experience multiple mums <laughs> Multiple babies. When you've, when you've got well, multiple babies, when you've got to do two at a time and they're both escaping. Two at a time and yeah, it's quick. Whack them in. <laughs> yeah, no flipping around with that, just pop it in. Yeah. Okay, so next I'm going to show you another of my absolute favourites. Again, ones that I used um, with, with my youngest. Lots of photos from, it's actually seven years now, my youngest. I've got all the Facebook memories popping up from seven years ago you popped out yet another baby <laughs> but um yeah i loved this one ergo cocoon because again it's simple to use um and it's a really lightweight fabric so for a summer baby this is really good it's rated as a 0.2 tog it's a very lightweight fabric the other thing i love about Ergo Cocoon, similar to the Miracle Blanket, is, has heaps of different ways you can use it. So you, you buy it and you can use it with your transition away from swaddling, or you can use it as an arms in swaddle. So that's in its one arm out position. So you can see that's the arms in, it's just a couple of little snaps, um, and that's one arm out. So this is a great option if you're not sure if baby's ready to be swaddled or not. If baby won't settle, you can, I just used to go in and poke the arm back in and then snap it up. Oops. The baby just won't settle down. Poke the arm back in and zip it up and, and off they go. And there's the Ergo Cocoon have brought out a total new collection for the summer. So um, the swaddles are all absolutely beautiful. Very fashionable prints. The babies are going to look gorgeous on Instagram. They're going to cocoons. So again, like the um, Love to Dream, just one zip. Very, very quick and easy to use. Got the one tog version behind you as well. Yeah. Just hanging up. Oh yeah. yeah. So yeah, available in a 0.2 tog or a one tog. So this is a, um, a thicker, more like a sweatshirt fabric, whereas this is like a light t-shirt. <coughs> These are designed in Australia, so both of these are Australian brands, so they're designed for hot weather. Okay, what else shall we show you? Maybe we'll show you Is some other brands that... Draw the winner. Oh, draw the winner for the muslin. So the Kibbutz winner is uh, Caro Martin. She chose the lion. Caro Martin, you are the Kibbutz winner and you chose the lion, which I think from memory might be this. I think he's a tiger. Oh, he's a tiger. It's not a tiger. Just a tiger like. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we're going to go with this one. If this is not the one you wanted, Carol, you best let us know before we send it. Um, James will be in touch to organise your price. And just a question regarding the Miracle Blanket. Is it warm enough for the winter too? Absolutely. Yep. The Miracle Blanket's one of those, um, you know, with most of the swaddles, you can use them any time. You just... Um, you know, put more clothing or less clothing. So for winter, inside your miracle blanket, maybe you want like a merino bodysuit, a nighty, the swaddle, and then a, a wool blanket over the top. Whereas in the summer, you might want nothing, <laughs> nappy, just the swaddle. So yeah, you can definitely use this year round. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to show you a couple of other swaddles, which uh, favourites um, of ours but uh, less known brands and so you might not have seen them before or you might have seen them on the website and wonder what on earth they are. So Swaddle Me is, um, is a swaddle that we've actually sold, it's one of, the, one of the products that we've had for the longest in our range. We haven't had it always because sometimes it's hard to get from a supplier but now we just get it straight from America so we always have it. It's a very, very simple design. It has some Velcro here, just attaches in the middle. And some cute little tabs, which then just wrap around. So it's very, very easy to use. It uses the Velcro rather than a zip. It's a good one for nappy changing. You can just open that pouch out. Or again, if it's really hot, you need a little bit more ventilation. 
just um, if you have anything with Velcro, just close the tabs before you wash it because otherwise um, the Velcro will become less effective over time. So just close the tabs before you wash it. That's also a very lightweight cotton. Another one I love is this Halo Sleep Sack Swaddle. Impossible to get into it, turns out. Hmm. Thank you for preparing this one. I know. <laughs> I'm going to rip the packaging on this one. To get your um, Halo Swaddle, you will need to destroy the packaging to get into it, it turns out. This is one that I um, used with Eddie as well, those years ago. He had a, a nice bright pink one, just to get a bit of um, people always commenting on Eddie sleeping in a pink swaddle, but we liked it. Like a bit of pink. With four boys, had to get some pink in there somewhere. So um, this is the Sleep Sack Swaddle from Halo, who is um, well known for their work in SIDS prevention, looking at sort of safe sleep options. So all these swaddles come with a little message about back is best embroidered on them, just to remind you when you put them on. What I like about this one is it's um, very versatile. You can use it in lots of ways. You could use it just as a sleeping bag. Um, you can use it with both arms in. With both arms in, it's really secure, even though it's not a super tight fit, and there's plenty of room at the bottom. So it's just a, it's got tons of Velcro, you don't have to get it in any particular position. And that just wraps around like that. So much Velcro. And then again, always like a good option for one hand out. Like so. So that's a nice lightweight. It's a bit snug um, with the two layers across the chest and the sleeping bag. So not the coolest option of these, but a really good option for that one arm out getting used to a looser fitting sleeping bag. Are there any others that we haven't covered? Oh, so the Swaddle Me comes, um, you can buy it singly. There's lots of beautiful designs singly. They also come in two and three packs. And something else to note about Swaddle Me is they're an exceptionally good price. Of all the kind of fitted swaddles on the market, you'll find that that is one of the best value options. I should probably remind you about the special deal. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a very good special deal on swaddles and sleeping bags at the moment. And it's 40% off every second item. So if you buy two swaddles, get 40% off the second one. Um, if you buy a sleeping bag and a swaddle, 40% off the second one. So it can be any combination of brands, sleeping bags, swaddles, <clears throat> fitted, square, whatever you like, 40% off the second. <clears throat> Got another question? Uh, another question. So we do have, uh, I don't know if we want to cover the mum, mum or the little, little blanket or cocoa baby, but just um, a little blanket down there, cocoa baby stuff like that. Oh dear. Yeah. Right. Maybe we'll just talk about them. So just a couple of other options. This is the Baby Swaddler by Ergo. Um, we'll just highlight this one because it's made out of mesh. It's very um, little, it just comes in one size, just a newborn size which might last you for maybe um, you know 10, 10 to 12 weeks. It's very um, arms across the chest, totally escape proof, but just a really good mesh option. And then the Dream Swaddle from Mum to Mum, it's kind of a combination of about the Swaddle Me, the Miracle Blanket and the Ergo Cocoon all in one swaddles it's got lots of layers this is the original version but it is also a summer version where the legs are covered with mesh rather than cotton it's not versatile at all like you can't leave one hand out you have to use all the layers or it doesn't doesn't really work right oh just tell me Stocking Wilson and Frenchie now at the sleep store. Many, many beautiful options. Swaddles, sheets, clothes, pyjamas up to size 7. Very cute for gifts. Well, 
Okay. Another giveaway? Yeah. Okay. We so could, I think that's kind we of... We could do the giveaway where we draw it so that people will watch it later. Why don't we so do two? We said. Cool. Let's do two options. <clears throat> I'm just checking if we have anything else we need to cover. No, we've covered everything. So efficient. Okay, so let's have one final giveaway. Um, you can choose any of the fitted swaddles from our range. You can choose any of these ones or you can peruse the many dozens and dozens on the website. Um, just pop a comment or a link to the fitted swaddle of your choice. Let us know which size and colour you want as well. Um, let's draw one. Let's have a quick fire one now. And then Georgie will draw one Friday. Friday. Um, in time for our next Facebook Live. So fitted swaddle, go right now if you would like to win one. And then just to remind you about the deal, 40% off every second swaddle or sleeping bag. And that also applies to all our wool babe sleeping bags. So a lot of people are snapping those up um, and getting 40% off their second, which means you'd be saving about, I don't know if I can actually work that out in my brain, about $50 off your second one, uh, which is a pretty good deal. And then um, later on, are we doing it this week or coming soon? Uh, we'll be doing a Facebook Live Friday. Friday. Same time, same place. Friday. Sleeping bags. Sleeping bags. Everything you want to know about sleeping bags. Again, we'll probably focus on options for coming into the warmer weather. Um, but if you've got any burning questions about sleeping bags, you can send those in now or come visit us on Friday. Okay, James, have we got a fitted swaddle winner? Uh, Nikita uh, Little John, she's Nik chosen a miracle blanket. Nikita Little John has chosen a miracle blanket. Good choice. My favourite swaddle. Can't go wrong with a miracle blanket. Just ask my kids. They used to sleep for 12 hours and I would actually have to unwrap them, unwrap the burrito in the morning. Um, so that is a good choice. Okay, thank you for watching and don't forget you can pop in as many entries as you like um, and Georgie will enter a We'll put into Georgie will draw another winner on Friday.